What we're testing here at Rush is a robotic ultrasound system, which is really the combination of an ultrasound machine. These machines are ubiquitous in healthcare. We use them all the time to image lots of different organs. It just uses sound waves to create images of the heart or the GI tract or practically any organ. Uh, it's a very, very common test, but what we've uh, done is combine that with a robotic arm, which allows us to control that probe on the patient's chest or abdomen or what, whatever part of the body we're imaging. We can control that with very fine movements, and we can even do it telerobotically. So that robotic arm can be controlled by somebody who's there with the patient or by somebody who's halfway around the world. Ultimately, we're looking at other applications, including aortic valve replacement, other types of heart procedures, and other types of ultrasound procedures that could be done for the GI tract, for the musculoskeletal system, the nervous system. But uh, right now, our clinical trial at Rush is starting with the carotid arteries, and then ultimately we hope to be doing this as part of a, um, a procedure for heart valve replacement. So this has a lot of implications for medicine. It has implications for how we do procedures in the hospital, um, and it has implications for how we screen patients for things like vascular health, and it has implications for how healthcare is delivered to areas that have less access to sophisticated healthcare technologies and medical imaging, such as rural areas or frontier areas or underserved areas uh, of the population.